Hello, LRSU. Bryce here. Um, just thought I'd take a minute and address some of the, the things that have taken place today. Obviously, it's uh, been kind of a wild to see everything unfold and uh, unfortunate as well, um, some of the things that, that I've seen. So I just want to address it, um, kind of give you my perspective on it. Um, being the founder of LRSU and, and you know the guy that dreamed up the Milk Jug Challenge, um, I think it's important for people to understand you know my perspective on what happened today. So uh, for starters, um, I'll just tell you how how thing rolled out um, this morning. I uh, had the pleasure of uh, posting the video for Jeremy Pexton. Uh, congratulations, buddy. Uh, he hit the 1,200-yard Milk Jug Challenge. He actually went out and volunteered to help me uh, for the charity shoot we did. You probably saw the Milk Jug Challenge videos for that. And after we were done, I said, hey, man, if you know, he asked me specifically, I'd, I'd really like to do the 1,200-yard Milk Jug Challenge and had those guys there as witnesses. So I said, sure, man, let's do it. And uh, he was fortunate to hit in just three shots with a 6.5 Creedmoor, so that was really awesome. Um, Jeremy and I worked together. And uh, he learned about long-range shooting. He basically found out that I was into long-range shooting and started asking me lots of questions. And over time, I'm like, when are you going to get a rifle, man? And helped him pick out a rifle and got him that Savage 12 RP and told him what scope to get and the whole bit. And uh, here, a year later, he's hitting milk jugs at 1,200 yards and three shots. Um, so it was a lot of fun to see that. That's really where this whole thing today got started, surprisingly. Um, I posted that video on YouTube. And by the time I got to work, I had a couple of comments already. I went to review the comments as I, I try to get back to those as quick as possible. I'm always excited to see what people have to say about the videos. And uh, one of the gentlemen had said, hey, you know, take that nut and fancy or something to that extent. I don't remember recall, recall exactly. Um, and I was like, well, nut and fancy, what, what do you mean? And I asked him what he was referring to. And he said, well, the video that nut and fancy did about the milk jug challenge. And I said, I was actually really surprised, like, really? Milk Nut and Fancy did a video about the Milk Jug Challenge. Um, I've actually tried to get in touch with him a couple of times over the years just to, you know, kind of learn from him. He's a huge, huge YouTube success. I mean, he's got 500,000 subscribers and over 200 million views. And he's a local Utah guy. And he, he's into guns and sports. I mean, that, that's what he does is really the same stuff or the same genre. Um, so saw that and then pulled up the video and I was really surprised i actually thought at first i was like wow this is awesome they're doing a milk jug challenge and then as i started seeing that it was a debunking and then kind of some of the the criticism of the challenge and so forth i was like oh okay interesting so needless to say the fact of the matter is you know the video is what it is right i mean th there are a lot of people that aren't a fan of the milk jug challenge but i think there's far greater that are um you have to understand you know what it is it's not, was never intended to be the end-all, be-all, true test of marksmanship. It's just not, all right? It's really designed more for the typical average Joe that might be new to the, to the sport or intermediate or maybe even advanced for the longer distances. But really, it was meant to be something that one of these guys could go out and do. Uh, I would videotape it. People love the video, so i do the video. And then that would give them something that they could share with their family and friends, I mean, even the whole idea of the jug itself is that a milk jug is something that 99% of Americans reach into their refrigerator every morning and grab a hold of. So when you say, I shot a milk jug at 1,000 yards, they immediately know exactly how big that thing is. And they think, 10 football fields to hit a milk jug with a gun? Are you kidding me? So it just helps put it all in perspective. That's why I picked the milk jug. Okay, so a lot of people look at it and say, oh, this isn't that great of a challenge, yada, yada. It's not intended to be the end-all, be-all challenge for professionals. It's for the average guys or guys who are just getting into it. And the advanced guys can certainly try it too. If you're really that good, you shouldn't have a problem hitting it in one, two, three shots, four shots. Thousand yards, maybe not too difficult, but at 1,200, 1,500 and a mile, that becomes a lot more challenging, especially if you're shooting those distances with a smaller caliber, like a 6mm or 6.5. I mean, we had one gentleman hit the 1,000 yard in a crazy 20 plus mile an hour wind on a freezing cold awful day in one shot. It was amazing. Couldn't believe it. I jumped out of my chair. So, anyway, that's my rant on the Milk Jug Challenge. Uh, regarding the video specifically today, keep in mind this is not a recent video. It's been around since February of this last year so it's almost a year old the guys that are in the video are guys that I know I know them rather well um, Jake for instance 
he's a great gunsmith. A lot of guys in LRSU shoot his guns. He's one of the guys that started doing the Tika actions that have become so incredibly popular. He's a great guy. I've never had any anything but a good experience with, with Jake. He's always been very congenial, very helpful, taking great care of me. Um, so I've got nothing negative whatsoever to say about him. I know that that particular day, you know, they weren't out there seriously trying to accomplish this, that, or the other. The, the conditions weren't ideal. They weren't set up as a real milk jug challenge would. They didn't have a backer. They were shooting in snow, which is just about the hardest thing to do. Even arranging you know, ranging in snow is difficult. So there's a lot of circumstances you have to take into account. Um, also, both rifles, as I understand it, were brand new, new loads. They were shooting factory ammo in the one. That's why they were commenting on how expensive it was going to be to shoot it. Um, the one optic that was used ended up having to be returned uh, for warranty work. I mean, a lot of other circumstances that you don't see in the video that come into play when you know the backstory. Um, and then Mike Pappas, I met Mike at the gun vault had no idea who he was, didn't realize that he's a huge deal in the shooting world. Um, one of the original founders of Silencer Co., uh, one of the, the guys right up here at Dead Air Armament, he's the dude. Um, but I met him at the gun vault, just walked in there and was checking the place out, and I was like, this guy is cool. Like He is super, super nice, super congenial, really outgoing, very charismatic. I was really impressed with the guy, and then later found out who he was. So I know he can shoot. I know Jake can shoot. I think the video is a bad representation of what their capabilities are, and they say that right in the video. Now, for nothing fancy, I've never met the guy. Never met him. Never shot with him. He's never been to a milk truck challenge. I don't know why he was so critical. I mean, and, and it ultimately doesn't matter. Um, I've extended a, a, an offer to him through his channel and, and told other people that I would love to invite him out to the Milk Jug Challenge. We're having one in a couple of weeks. I invited him to come out to that, even offered to provide my rifle to him. Would love to have him come out and see how the challenge is run. And I think he would walk away with a completely different perspective of, of how it's done and, and so forth. There's no smoke and mirrors. There's no fancy editing. In fact, if you'd ask around, there's probably some guys that are really close to me that are even frustrated with me that I won't trust them or let them do their own challenge, that I insist that it be done in a certain order to maintain the, the level of uh, uh, you know, achievement that it is to keep the bar where it is and, and not have any discrepancies that might degrade that. So just a couple of things there. Video is old. The guys in the video are awesome. There's really no reason to, uh, to, to you know, degrade them. Um, in closing, the biggest thing that I'd like people to walk away from is uh, just in general in our country right now, there's all kinds of effort by the media and by government officials and so forth to divide our country, destroy our relationships, tear us apart, and ultimately destroy the, the greatness that is you know, America, right? So I don't see any reason to you know, mock or degrade or you know, talk down to, whatever you want to call it, anyone in the shooting sports community. We'll do our talking on the range, shooting our rifles. There's no reason to be an armchair commando and to, to mock other people or to degrade them or criticize them. I think the results do the talking. Um, thus why I, I have no foul words or no harsh anything for, for nothing fancy. I'd love to have him come out. I think if he came out and shot with us, we'd probably walk away friends and everything would be great. So we've got enough division in the industry. We've got enough division in our country. We've got enough division among different groups of people, I see absolutely no reason why we need that in our shooting community. I think we need to band together and we need to show the world that that we're great and that we can do great things, we're good people, and that owning a firearm and knowing how to use it is a good thing. It's There should be nothing negative about it. So I hope that by posting this you get a better idea of the backstory behind what's happened today and you have a better understanding of who these guys are, they're people, they have families, they're good guys. And I don't think this video was a good representation of, of where they stand, what their capabilities are, what they were trying to do. And uh, overall, I just appreciate everybody's support and defending it and uh, appreciate uh, everyone that supports LRSU and would love to have you guys out at the next Milk Jug Challenge. If there's anything we can do to improve the group, 
please let us know. I uh, really appreciate all the help from everyone, all the volunteers that come to the events, and uh, just all the support in general. Really, really appreciate it. It's a lot of fun, a lot of work, but a lot of fun. And uh, that's all I have to say about that. Adios.